And uh, you see all the renal corpuscles. A kidney on a stick didn't show those. Mm -hmm. Each one of these is a renal corpuscle of nephron. There's about a million of these in each kidney. Here we have a couple of nephrons. Here you can see a couple of nephrons. Okay. Now right here, they've taken this. It's a lobe, basically, a renal lobe. If you take uh, one pyramid and the cortex adjacent to it, that's called a renal lobe. They've taken uh, this pyramid and the cortex and capsule next to it and enlarged it. Here's your renal capsule. There's the cortex. You see all the renal corpuscles, like over here. There's your two nephrons. Okay. There's a renal pyramid, renal papilla. What if I were to ask you what type of nephron this is? That's the corticle. See, the loop of Henry doesn't go very deep into this pyramid. There's your juxtamedullary over there. So we've got one of each. Okay. 80 to 85% of these, 10 to 15% those. Okay. And these can make urine dilute or concentrate. These cannot. Okay, okay um, here we can see cutaway view of your Bowman's capsule. You can see the glomerulus inside of it. That's uh, Bowman's capsule and glomerulus. That's a renal corpuscle. Coming out of it here is your proximal convoluted tubule. Then we have the descending limb of the loop of Henle and the ascending limb of the loop of Henle all the way up to here where it touches the afferent arteriole. Okay. Then we have our distal convoluted tubule, our collecting duct, and down here this is the renal papilla at the bottom. So this is a papillary duct down here. Papillary duct down at the bottom. Our urine will be emerging from there. Okay, um, we can see our paratubular capillaries up here in the cortex. And here, this loop-shaped network, that's our vasa recta. There's the vasa recta. Okay. So that we can see on this. Now over here, they've taken one renal corpuscle and enlarged it. We're going to look at the anatomy of renal corpuscle now.